hello and welcome back to my channel today is a bonus video some of you might remember this cake I that was a custom order for a special bachelorette party and this lady was so happy about how the cake turned out that she said she would like to have some extra cupcakes made to match this uh, cake here so this is what I'm gonna do today and I hope you enjoy so the first thing we want to do is add the lye water to the oils and mix it up with a stick blender. Just a little series of cupcakes, not a whole bunch. I'm gonna split the batter into approximately equal parts. That's about good. Then I'm going to mix in this part here, which is the base. I'm going to mix this purple passion from You Make It Up. It's a nice color. Looks really nice and rich. It will become a little lighter during the, how can I say, the saponification process. So I'm going to mix in the same fragrance oil as we used for the cake, which is black raspberry vanilla from Saint Perfic. I think that this fragrance oil discolors a little bit when you do like a completely white uh, batch so I will not recommend it for this and I hope I can save a little bit for the piping because I have some inlets I need still to work on so we have the cupcakes ready here she ordered three I just have a couple more here available in case that we have some overflow, but it's not really needed. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the rest here for the piping. And I'm gonna put this aside just to set. So what I'm gonna do here with this part is I'm gonna give it a little mix, an additional mix with the stick blender so it will thicken up a little more so we can like actually pipe it. titanium dioxide to lighten it up a little bit a bit more difficult if you're working with very small quantities that's why I actually don't like it so much but we have to work with it I didn't want to make like 15 of these if I don't really need it you know but 
but I feel that this is going to move pretty fast. So let's wait and just steer occasionally. the piping which is the piping that comes on top of the cupcakes of course and this one we are going to color with fantasia pink of you make it up it's a new color that I ordered some TD here to tone it down a little So we should compare with the cake and if I look at it I feel it needs a little bit more pop, a little bit more color so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this one here Incorporate everything also from the sides of the jar. the rest of the fragrance oil in here and stir it in by hand. This needs to, to wait to achieve piping consistency so we can do the tops of the cupcakes and it needs to be like a thick piping because we want to stick in some heavy embeds and uh, therefore it's always better to have it a little bit thicker than thinner so that it doesn't fall into itself. All right, so let's see how the purple is doing. Purple is getting there, I can clearly see that. But we're not there yet. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer. So you can see the piping here is, I mean the butter here is at piping consistency. I want it to be a little thicker than usually because what we're gonna do with it <clears throat> we have these uh, embeds here I made somewhere from the last cake these flowers here with the Russian piping tip and then we have this macaron halves here and I need to do the filling so I want to pipe it on it instead of just doing it with melt and pour I think it's prettier, but I don't know if it will hold enough so I can stick it into the cupcakes later on. So let's see and let's pray and let's keep the fingers crossed. All right, so I'm going to transfer <coughs> this um, butter here into the piping bag. easier to work so I'm just gonna throw it in here
and um, the, the work that you are doing if it is for one cupcake or 10 or 20 is basically the same time you need okay maybe you need a little bit more because you need to you know melt down more oils and stuff like this but at the end of the day it is more it's much more effective to make bigger larger batches without compromising the quality of course okay so let's see how we are doing with this I love these piping bags. I have them from Amazon. You can find the link down in the description box. So let's see if I can just put, I, I choose a little bit a smaller tip this time, just because I don't think we need like the huge one that I'm usually using for the cupcake. So I hope you can see. It's gonna add like this and then I think I'm gonna just finish the piping and then I'm gonna put it on because I need to remove my gloves that's for sure to be sandwiched on top of it like so still a bit runny Okay, so the embeds are ready. Cute. So this piping here is ready to go as well. So let's transfer it into the other piping bag I've prepared. This is, um, I'm using a big French star here, like the biggest I could find. exact spot where the batter is at piping consistency is not so easy you know because um, if you wait too long then it's too thick to pipe and then it somehow breaks and it doesn't look good and if it's too soft it falls and the definitions are not so exact as you could imagine and then you end up being disappointed so if you have enough in your piping bag, you could just start by making some tests, but you never know how much you would really need. So let's see if this is holding. You can 
see this is the French star here. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just putting a dollop in the middle and that way you can also see if the batter is not strong enough. It's just the middle, so you can just still wait a little bit, you know. just a dollop in the middle, like so. Okay, what I could do if I have some left over, I have these baby cupcake molds here, and then, um, you know, instead of just throwing the soap off, throwing the soap away, why not making some little soaps that you can give somebody for a, as a gift or as a sample. You know, people I experience really love this. You would say like, but why, you know? No, but people love it. stiff so we can really put it on I just want to to see and compare it with the cake so that it has a similar decoration so here we have the cake and here we have the decoration okay so let's go now so we're going to add let's start with one and then see how we are doing. Of course, they are still soft, so you have to be a little gentle with it. So now we have a couple of more things here that we can add. For example, a little heart. roses we made that fit to the to the purple bottom that we cannot see right now we will see while unmolding so we're gonna stick it here to the side and really push it in very well and the piping is great because it's you can really sandwich it in without it falling out again okay some fruits, some berries. Let's add these two. And then I have some little strawberries that I can add in here. Another 
berry over here with a slightly different color, excuse me. Here we have a strawberry, so we can add a raspberry, why not? Okay. So I think one macaron is really enough for this type of cake. So now let's see. I can put you down a little bit and we're gonna add some um, sugar pearls as well. So this is just regular sugar pearls. like so. I always need to remove my gloves because I feel I cannot really control the embeds properly. But if you do so, please be very careful because fresh soap is burning and then you can just push it in like with a stick like this. Do you know the feeling when you're decorating something that you really need to find the break? Like <laughs> when you really need to stop because you never want to stop, you always want to add more and more. That's how I feel. Maybe some of you can understand it. But I mean, it's really cool, you know. So why not make it really cute and enjoy it and have other people enjoy it as well it's not something you can find everywhere you know so it's handmade decorative soap that some people even keep in the bathrooms just as a decoration all right so that looks pretty cute and now of course we want to add some glitter to it so I have this bio glitter from Nurture Soap it's white and it gives always a nice touch of frosted or kind of cute looking it gives pop to the cupcakes and I love it all right then we can add some more gold Just a little tiny bit. So I'm going to give you a close up. a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then we're gonna be back tomorrow for the unmolding. Okay, so it's two days later this fragrance oil had we had to wait a little longer here uh, to unmold but now you can see it unmolds really easily if you see that when you try to remove this mold here the silicone if you see that it sticks too much just leave it one one day longer two days longer however longer it needs you know because then it's it would be a pity to try to unmold and then you have you know some how can i say some sticky soap that will show up even after curing you know it will remain like this i can show you an example of the same fragrance oil that i tried to remove a little too early and how it looks I don't know why this happens. This is this black raspberry vanilla. Can you see? This is really not good at all. So that's what's happening if you're trying to do this. And then we have the babies with the leftover batter here. You see, this is should stay a little longer too, but since it is a baby, you know, it doesn't really matter. So 
so I'm gonna show you a close up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you around very soon for another one. Bye bye.